Alrighty guys, I'm the devil, otherwise known as Kyle, and this is Lost Souls. So here we go. Welcome back to Lost Souls guys, and today, today, well, let's talk about last episode first. Let's talk about last episode. Last episode we set this up, and it's a little bit laggy over here with this. Um, unfortunately, I don't, I'm not running up to find, so that's probably why. So we set up a um, cobblestone generator last episode, and I sort of expanded it, and we've got this system now that's sort of all piping into here, and we can see if we right-click here, cobblestone's coming in pretty quickly, and we have we haven't even caught one of these. Yeah, we're we're getting there. So this is gonna take a little bit of time before we get to the deep dark. I do want to add some more. To this, I want to have 64 in total. We've got about 16, I think. How many have we got? 5, 10, 15. No, we got 20. Uh, but I'm just waiting on blaze rods and um, emeralds. Okay, so I'm pulverizing some coal. Just thought I'd teach, uh, show you guys that. But this episode, what I want to work on, why I wait for them, is I want to finish this quest line better with mods. Uh, we need to make slime balls. We need to make these upgraded axles. And we need some mob drops. So I want to get on the... Um, the upgraded axles, which we need soul forged steel for, which means we need this millstone. I'm just going to pop this here. So we need this turntable, okay? And I, I made this in my Better With Mods episode. Now, I do apologize, there is no sound. Um, if I actually go to music sounds, we can turn it up a little, a little bit. Uh, but I'm not going to turn it up too loud because it is really loud in this room. And essentially, what we need for this soul forged steel is we need some urns. So if we do that, Okay, we do this and we wait for it to turn it. See if we can get an unfired crucible, unfired planter, unfired vase, and then it goes to an urn. Okay, boom. And now we get the urn. And I'm not sure how much soul forged steel we're gonna need, so maybe I should figure that out beforehand. We're gonna need three steel axles, okay. Uh, it helps if I spell steel, right, doesn't it? Again, steel axle. Oh, this requires a soul forged anvil, which requires. So it requires. We need. What's that? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I think I'm just going to make a stack up. I think making a stack up would probably be the, um, the better option. So yeah, uh, so I'm gonna make get a stack of these solars together. I've got the charcoal dust making up, and I've obviously I've got the iron ingots, and I'll bring you back when I've done that. So I'll catch you back. It's just a little hold the phone. I made a small mistake. I caught it pretty quickly. It's not this urn that you need. I kept thinking it was this urn, but it's not. It's actually a solar. Uh, and if we just look here, this solar is actually got with a soul sand filter and throwing ground nether rack into it. All the ground. Dust, okay. So what we gotta do is we gotta is that a actual chance? All we gotta do is we gotta throw. Oh, what was it again? I completely forgot. We gotta throw this ground netherrack, which we get by just putting netherrack in the millstone. Now it's not pulverized coal that you need, it's coal dust, which means you gotta put coal in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab some netherrack. And I'm gonna let this do. Obviously, I need to wait with it because these do despawn. We could put an item collector on it, to be honest with you. Uh, but I don't think that I want to. I think I'm happy just waiting. And what what did I come back for? I came back for, for netherrack. Okay. Let's just grab a bunch of this. Oh, I actually want to share one more thing with you before I uh, make a cut. So, we had some of these experienced pylons just sort of laying around these things here. And I put one here at the mob farm. And this is now collecting. Oops, that's not what I want to do. This is now collecting XP from mobs, and I can just go ahead and retrieve it like so, and then pop it on wherever I need to pop it on. And I added a, a hell of a lot more barrels to this thing because you know it was overflowing very easily. So maybe we need to upgrade the mob farm. Maybe we need a bigger and a better one. Maybe. Um, but let's stick. <laughs> this in here. Cool. Actually, you know what? We're probably... 
I'm going to make up an item filter and a barrel, and I'm going to put that there. So I'm going to do that, and then we can actually start working on the slime and the mob drops while we wait for this to do. So I'll be back with you in just a little bit. Welcome back, and the screaming has finally stopped. So I've put an item collector on here. Um, I don't. We did try putting the chest on top, but it didn't just automatically input the chest. I did try an item duct, but it is it like a 50/50 chance the item duct actually pulls these out? So, uh, yeah, probably best we don't do that. So the next thing it wants is slime. So let's have a little look at slime. Now we can get it from the cauldron, but that requires milk. Mana infusion is probably our better bet because we we have cactuses, but again that that re that requires getting into Britannia, and um, you know we can make these blue slime trees, uh, but again that requires a lot of stuff that we don't have. We could get it from the botanic miner, I suppose that's one option, but um, again I don't know I'm. Trying to figure out the, the best way. Okay, so if we get liquid slime, how do we get liquid slime? We could do the mixer from immersive engineering. Because as we, which we have access to, and clay, which we have access to, gets us this, which makes liquid slime. Right, and then it's just a case of surrounding dirt with liquid slime. So, let me get together the blocks that I'm going to need to build the squeezer. And when I'm ready to build it, because I think we'll, we'll definitely probably put it in this room. Uh, when I'm ready to build it, I'll bring you back for that bit. So I'll catch you back. Welcome back, guys. And I wanted to just bring you back to show you the farm. I'm making a little bit of a farm, so we've got a bit more of a supply of wheat rather than having one outside the base. I've decided to actually have one in base. And we are going to automate this at some point in the future. But for now, I'm just going with a very vanilla one. I thought, you know what? I'll show you just in case you haven't figured out how to actually make a farm. So if we to we have all this, we have actually another utilities tank there filled with four buckets of water and that's just going to hydrate all this soil for us and I've got glowstone at pretty much every important point but like I said we will automate this in the future. There are some quests actually that lead us down that so we'll definitely. I've had it with embers. I'm getting sick and tired of embers. Every two seconds there's a new ember. It's almost consistently constant I'm being attacked by embers. And it's really driving me crazy, especially when you get them purple flamed ones that just one shot you. That is super annoying. Every time I'm just sat there like, okay, how do I make slime? And I'm looking through the crafting, you're getting hit by one. I even barricaded myself in a uh, small room and they still somehow killed me through a wall. Ah, it's frustrating. Frustrating to say the least. But. There we go, we've got our little farm sort of set up. So let's go ahead now and actually build this squeezy. Uh, which actually is... Okay, let's just play that. Stop that. No. Stop. No. Ah. Okay, I don't want you to stop, I just want you to let me see how to do it. Okay, so it looks like it's pipe, pipe, steel scaffolding, and engineering block. Okay, so I think, I think for now we're going to get rid of this. I am going to set this back up, I'm going to move it, but for now, uh, let's just put away some of this stuff that I don't need. Okay, I am going to set it back up, but a little bit further over here. Okay, so let me just get this back in my head again. Oh, so it's a U-shape. Okay, so it's a U-shape, like so. I believe it was that, that, that. And where was the light engineering block? Ha! the light engineering block was actually at the back here. So we go like that, and then we go... Boom, boom. You can actually climb up this like a step or a ladder or something, which makes sense because it is called scaffolding. Okay, so the four barrels in the middle and the redstone engineering block there. Did I accidentally put my redstone engineering block away? I did. So, redstone engineering block, yeah, was there, right? Right? Yes. 
the four barrels here. So bloop, 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 and bloop. And then on top, we need the piston as well as three fences. Okay, so I've got my fences. And where's my piston? Piston. So... You see what I mean? You see what I mean? This is just... we they're, they're almost constant now. Every time you're doing something, it's really... This is ruining the pack for me, just... You know, I, I like to get on with the pack, but I'm always just being constantly interrupted. And it's really annoying. Okay. And I've tried putting Magnum Torches down. That doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, to stop those spawning. Anyway, we're still having the problems. Oh, out of all... Actually, no, no, no. I've got my backpack on me. Okay. This is supposed to rotate this. Thank you. And then is it the engineering block? Nope. It is possible that I have misplaced a block. Nope, nope, nope. We, we did it alright. Okay. Now I need to go and grab my clay. Let's go grab my clay. Let's go grab it. We need clay and we need wheat and we need water. Now, uh, between episodes, I did set up this little water system. You just put leaves in here and it pulls it out, puts the leaves in here and we get our water here. So, we're just going to grab that fluid tank there. Okay. Uh, do I have a bucket? I have a bucket on me. I just need clay and I put my clay in here. I'm almost certain of it. Yes, there it is. Look. Okay. So, let's go and do this. Um... We'll just do that. I don't know how much we're going to need for slime, but uh, I did just realize that I have used uh, almost all my dirt in building the farm. <laughs> um, which is a little problematic, so I'm going to have to set some more dirt back up. Okay. So, we've got some inputs and we've got some outputs here. So, I think the first thing we're probably going to want to do is actually set up this, and then where's the... The wire. Is this going to reach? Yes. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. So let's stick in some clay. Let's stick in some of this. And shall we pipe in water? I'm not sure. This looks like a water inlet to me. So the question is, can I use just... Okay, no. This must be a item inlet. Okay. Not a... Aha! Water. Or does the water go in the top? Now, I'm not sure how these work. That's not getting water. Uh, no. Okay, you know what? We'll just do this using fluid ducts. Where are they? I know how these things work. When in doubt, stick to the things that you know how work. That's my advice. Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. No, that's not getting put in there, but this is losing water. Okay, so we just lost some water. Is there anywhere else this inputs to? There's got to be a way to put water into it. There's got to be. And I'm not seeing any other inputs. I mean, can I just take this and... I don't think a war book is going to work. If it is, that's, I'd like to be able to pipe. Nope. Okay, so how the hell do I put water in here? Let me, um... Let 
Let me have a little look at this, guys, and I'll be back with you in just a little bit. You know what? I just had a brainwave. Like, a super-duper amazing, awesome brainwave. And also, uh, I figured something else out, too. Okay, the first thing is... I made the freaking squeezer I was supposed to make the freaking mixer, not the squeezer. I made the mix. I made the squeezer instead of the mixer. Uh, but, but there is one other thing that I actually wanted to share with you guys. Um, so... If we look at slime, we can actually make slime balls a number of ways. And one of these ways, actually, that I didn't notice before, uh, all of these ways are, are a lot easier than the way we're going. But this, spore, okay, okay. I couldn't remember what they were called, but we can use these, smelt these down and craft them into slime blocks, and then hopefully craft the slime blocks back into slime balls. Uh, and that would be a much easier way. But we're going to go both ways about this. Since I've already started one way, we're certainly going to go that way. Uh, but actually, I just want to see where these are. I should have some. I should have a ton of these, actually. Uh, we got... Oh, no, that's not them. It is... What spores? Sinner spores. Okay, because we did actually have... Nope. How do you spell them? Am I just spelling them completely wrong? Sin U O S. Nope. Did I miss yet? Oh, U O U S. Ah. Okay, so we've got these sinner spores right here. And we can go ahead and we can just see if we got any more of these anywhere locking about. I realize that you could double click here to actually sort of like angle your search a little bit better. And uh, we've got some sinus resin here. Or sinus resin, I think it's actually pronounced as. Uh, there's a ghast up there. I'm not too happy about that. Let's get these. Oh, I, I also set these uh, furnace arrays up here as well. Coal goes in there. Okay, so while that does, let's go ahead and, and put together this uh, mixer. And actually get the right thing put together and not the wrong thing. Like an idiot. But that's me. I'm an idiot. Okay, but game has crashed a couple of times actually. But that's due to this book. Okay, so, let's just, okay, I think I got that, I think I got that. Uh, pipe, steel scaffolding. So it's, the pipe is like this, the steel scaffolding, oh shoot, no, I haven't got it. I'm terrible with memory, my memory is absolutely dreadful. Okay, so that's just sort of like in an L shape around it. So we go there, no, I, you can put that over. I didn't actually know you could do that. That's actually something you could put scaffolding over pipes. Okay. And then we've got our light engineering block here. That's right, right. Yep. And then when we go up one. Okay, so it's that and that. That one's easy. And then the sheet metal covers up the rest. So uh, is it sheet metal like so? And then a redstone engineering block right here. And like an idiot, I move my manual. Uh, is that right? Yep. And then it's the fence. And then another one of these. That there. And then we just need a fence. And the question is, where do we click? I'm going to guess the middle. Aha. Cool. Okay. So. Let's take this flop stop. So clearly we could input something there. No, we can't input something there. Okay. Um, see, that to me looks like the output. Is this a flop stop? Yep. Okay. Let's connect this up. So we've got the medium voltage wire cutter, which looks to go there. Uh, we'll just connect this from here to the relay. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And does this have an interface? Yes, it does. Okay. So I want my clay and my wheat and my water bucket. Output. Output only bottom fluid. Okay. So we want this in here. And we somehow need to get water in here. So... My question is, does it actually, is it going to drag from this? Let's find out. Where's my, where's my servos? There's my servos. No. 
new. Okay, so the question is, where do we input water? It's possible that could be the water input. Yep. Okay, again we're losing water. But it's not a big deal, I can always make a ton of this stuff. It's not exactly expensive. Okay, cool, cool. And as you can see, that's actually working and... and we now have water in here. And it's going through the water and going to hopefully turn the water into... into liquid slime, which we can just then grab from here. So if we take this, we put that there, we go ignored, we can actually... Oh, is that going to draw water out? It's very possible. But we do need another barrel, but that's okay, that's okay. We can go get another barrel. Another drum. We can make a drum up, and then that way we're actually making some liquid slime. <laughs> and then hopefully we can get ourselves sorted with this soul forged steel. So, let's just go here. I need two of those. I need one of those. And... I got just enough iron. Put it there. Cool, there's the iron drum. Okay, let's grab... Is it... Which, where would you have put you? There we go. Okay, so let's make up these slime blocks. Okay. There's those. And we can turn those into slime balls. What? How many? Oh, that is a quest. Okay, better with mods. Okay, cool. So, we do need these mob drops, which we need blaze powder, leather, and stuff, which I'm not going to worry too much, because that's quite easy. I mainly want to get to the soul forged steel. But we got slime balls, and let's go and try this method as well. I wish I'd have seen the resin earlier, but at least I'm getting to show you guys something that... There we go, look, liquid slime is now being produced. And, um... I only have one piece of dirt, unfortunately. But, yeah. So we're producing liquid slime. And these, I think Immersive Engineering is absolutely an amazing mod. This is probably one of my favourite mods, even though I don't use it as much as I really want to. Like, you can create some really steampunk stuff with it. Okay. So let's head back into the Screaming Death Trap. And let's grab these. And we take them over here to our filtered offer. And the filtered offer always breaks on me for some reason. Did we get it earned? Oh, that's just nasty. Okay, I'm going to make up another hopper. I'll be back with... Oh, welcome back, guys. And after much deliberation, I finally think that I've figured this out. So, I'm sorry. I am so sorry that you won't be able to hear much of anything, but that drives me crazy. Okay, so this was breaking because I had a redstone clock on here, which was keeping continuous mechanical power. Now, I actually do want to break this, and I do want to take this gear out. What I want is on put the gear there, and I want to get another gearbox up here. Which is going to be... Gonna be it's going to be make it difficult. But today's been one of those days where everything has had to be difficult. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a wooden axle. And I believe we just right click this. Or is it shift and right click? There we go. Okay. Cool. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the filtered hopper. And just put it on the side. Okay. And then put a block there. And you need an urn, or so it says, underneath it. Like so. Okay. And now we need a way up there. So we get soul sand as a filter. We take, let's take a stack of grab. Actually, let's not take a stack. Let's just take what it says. It says eight, doesn't it? Okay. And we throw eight in there. And um, what happened to my urn? Aha. Here we are, soul urn. Okay. So now we've got the soul urn. So now we need the coal dust and I need my trusty iron, which I think is over here, if I remember rightly. 
I think I left it in this chest, didn't I? No. I am betting a million dollars if I had gone to the other chest, some evil, sadistic, forceful fiend in the world would have switched them. Yeah. It's hard to get me, this game is. I swear it. <laughs> okay, let's go about iron. Where's our coal dust? We do have more coal dust, but it's not in there. Okay. Let's go and do this and try our best to craft this soul forged steel. Which means I need my redstone clock. Can I just put my redstone clock there? No, I can't. But I'm betting I can put it here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we need the coal dust, we need iron, and we need the solar. And that is doing it. That is doing it. I'm not sure how long this takes, and I'm, I'm not sure if it consumes this solar urn. If it doesn't, then, then you know, it's a long process to create it. So at least I've shown you in the beginning how to create it. Oh, shut up, you screaming. It actually says on the wiki to do this a long distance away from your home. But I want to see just how many soul forged steel we get. And if it does indeed consume the soul urn, or if it just gives us the urn back. If it gives us the urn back, it's, you know, it's not that bad, but if it consumes the urn in total, then it's a bit of a long-winded process to make some soul-forged steel. I honestly don't think it'd be worth it. Okay, it does give us the urn back, which is good. Can I put more than... Well, no, because it actually dropped off, didn't it? So I can't put more than eight souls, so let's just take ourselves eight. Stick that through. Pick up our urn and put our urn in there. Okay. And we've got oak wood in the coal drip for some reason. Don't have a flint steel. But yeah, I think that's going to go ahead and, and do it for this episode, guys. I think we're going to get into a little bit more of the Soul Forge steel. I'm going to make up some between episodes. That's going to take me a little while. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. So, if you have enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. I really do appreciate it. And it really helps out the channel. So please do leave that like. And click subscribe if you want to see more from me. I'm the devil, otherwise known as Kyle. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>